This is a practice question in averages. It's actually a question in weighted average. Quite an easy question, especially given the fact that in GRE you can use a calculator. This question is a very, very simple question. What we'll do is we'll solve it the way one would typically do it in a GRE test with the help of calculator. And then we'll also see how we can solve this without a calculator and use that process to infer something which is very, very useful when it comes to properties of averages. Let's get started. The average salary of a graduating class of 35 students is $7080 and that of another class comprising 15 students is $7128 per month. What we need to find out is the average monthly salary of students of the two classes taken together. We need to find the weighted average. That's the gist of it. Weighted average question, we can either use the formula or we can go with the standard framework. Let's go with the standard framework. Let's start filling in the data. First class, 35 students, average salary equals 7080. Some of their salaries is equal to 35 into 7080. Let's compute this value. We'll have a calculator there as well. 35 star 7080. So this works out to 247800. Let's note that down. 247,800 is the answer. Quickly check it. Yes, that's absolutely right. Let's move on to class 2. Class 2 has got 15 students. Their average salary is equal to 7128. So this is 15 into 7128. Slightly more difficult calculation, but with a calculator, all are one and the same. 15 star 7128, right? Have you noted it down? Yes. So this value works out to 106920. So this is 106920. So some of the salaries of the students of both the classes taken together is going to be some of these two values, 247,800 plus 106,920. Let's add that 247,800, 247,800 to 106,920. So some of their salaries works out to 354,720. So this is 354,720. Let's quickly verify it, 354720. Now, what is the average salary? Average salary is basically the sum 354720, sum of the salaries of all 50 students divided by total number of students in the two classes taken together. So divided by 50. So what is that calculation working out to? 354720 divided by 50. This equals 7094.4. That's all it takes to solve this question. It's probably a one minute question. Go through this process, you are done. Quickly see it in a printed form and then solve the same question without using calculator. We'll infer, we'll derive a method to doing that and in the process we'll infer a result. Let's quickly summarize it in a printed form. Some of the salaries of students of class 1 is 247,800. Some of the salaries of students of class 2 is 106,920. Some of the salaries of the students of the two classes taken together is 354,720. So their average salary is equal to 354,720 by 50, which is equal to 7094.4. Obviously this calculation, computing this number and this number without a calculator is not that easy. Let's try and do it a little differently and see whether that will make sense and that would help us infer something. 35 into 7080, I'm not going to make any change to it. I'm going to leave it as it is. Between the two salaries that we see here, 7080 is a smaller salary, so I'm leaving it as it is. The second part, 15 into 7128, I'll write it as the 7128 as a 7080 plus a 48. The 7080 is the average salary of the first class. That plus or minus what it is, we'll go with the plus, we'll never look at a minus. Plus 48 is what it is, divided by 50 should give us the answer. Now let's expand the term on the right hand side. So it'll leave us with 35 into 7080 plus 15 into 7080 plus 15 into 48. So this is the numerator. This divided by 50 is what we need to find out. Now look at these two terms. Add these two terms. 35 into 7080 plus 15 into 7080 will leave us with 50 into 7080. 15 into 48 is an easy calculation. That works out to 720. This entire thing divided by 50. We can break it as 50 into 7080 by 50 plus 720 by 50. This part now is very, very easy to calculate. This equals 7080. 720 by 50, 700 by 50 is a 14. 20 by 50 is a 0.4. So the answer is 14.4 for this part.
So 7080 plus 14.4 is equal to 7094.4. So what did we do? We basically express the second number, the larger number, 7128, as a sum of the smaller average plus what? So basically, therefore, we could club this and get this answer in a jiffy. Then all that was left was calculating a friendlier number, a smaller number and get to the answer. Let's quickly summarize it in a printed form and then get around to inferring what I wanted us to infer. We wrote the 7128 as a 7080 plus 48. And then basically we club these two terms, 35 into 7080 with a 15 into 7080 to arrive at a 50 into 7080. That plus 15 into 48, which is a 720, will give us a final answer, which is equal to 7094.4. We'll do it a little more systematically before the inference. We'll see if we can make all of these implementations while we wrote the standard framework. This is after the standard framework, we did all of this. Let's see if we can get around to doing this before we get into the standard framework or at the standard framework stage. Look at it. The first class salary is 7080. That's the smaller of the two averages subtracted from it. So the average salary works out to zero. It looks like a very disconcerting number, but let's go with it. So what will be the sum of the salaries of students of class one? 35 into zero, which is equal to zero because you subtracted 7080 from this. Let's do the same subtracting for the second class. 15 students, we subtract 7080 from their average. So their average comes down to 48. So some of their salaries will be 15 into 48, which equals 720. Now, what will be the sum in the reduced case 0 plus 720, which equals 720. Together in both the classes, we have 50 students. So what is going to be what I will call as the intermediate average, the average after subtracting these two numbers, that's going to be equal to 720 divided by 50, which we computed to be a 14.4. Now let's compute the final average. We subtracted a 7080 from both the averages and arrived at an average of 14.4. Let's add back that 7080 that we subtracted to this 14.4. That will give us the answer 7094.4. So the second method we did, you can basically make the second method much easier by implementing it at the standard framework stage itself. If you find that you're finding out weighted average of large numbers, subtract the smaller number from both the averages, compute an intermediate weighted average. Add that to the number that you subtracted. Quickly see this in a printed form. We subtracted 7080 from both the salaries. The average for the first class is 0, for the second class is 48. Some of their salaries in the reduced form is 720. Intermediate average is 720 by 50, which is 14.4. Final average is 7094.4. Now let's get around to doing the inference. Let's look at set yes. It have five elements, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These numbers are all in an arithmetic progression. So the middle number is going to be the average. Yes equals 3. I'm going to write a set T. I'm going to obtain set T by adding 5 to each element in set S. So set T is going to be 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You add 5 to each element here, you're going to get the result which is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is also in an AP. The middle number is the average. The average works out to 8. Each of these numbers, we added a 5 to get this set. The average is also 5 more than that. That's inference number 1. If a constant K is added, or subtracted from each element, each term of a data set. The average also goes up by a k or comes down by a k. That is inference number one. Look at what we did there. We subtracted 7080 from both the averages, which is as good as subtracting 7080 from each one salary. And then we found out an average, which would have actually been 7080 lesser than what the value should be. Then we added back the 7080 which is st same as stating, I'm adding 7080 to each one salary back, which means the average is going to go up by 7080. So we reduced it to find an intermediate average 14.4 and then added it back to get the final average, which is 7094.4. This is when you add or subtract. What happens when you multiply or divide? Let's look at set U. I'm going to obtain set U by multiplying each element of set S with a 2. So it's going to become 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. This is also in an AP with a common difference of 2. So the middle number 6 is the average. We multiplied each element of set S to get each element in set U. What happened to the average? The average of U is twice that the average of S. So essentially, second inference is if each element in a set is multiplied by a K or if each element gets divided by a K, the average will go up by a K 
or the average will be divided, it will be 1 by k times. If I multiply it by a k, the average will become k a. If I divide it by a k, then the average is going to become a by k, 1 by k times of the original average. So these are the two key inferences. I'll repeat these inferences once more. If each element or each observation in a data is added or subtracted, if a k is added or subtracted to each element in a set, the average also goes up by a k or comes down by a k. If each element in a data set is multiplied by a k, the average will also get multiplied by a k. If each element in a data set is divided by a k, the average will be 1 by k times the original average. Is the quant section of the GRE examination. Sign up for the most comprehensive and affordable online quant course for the GRE at online.vizaco.com. I'll repair it. It's online.vizaco.com. To check out the related videos and remember to subscribe to this channel.